The following content is rated R and is for mature audiences only. You are now watching
by TKO. Combination. God to TKO. damn. HP Fresh in this bitch holla at your boy, I get some money. You all are watching Roman Reigns tear through the heavyweight division, getting closer to that world heavyweight title he wants so much. Moving on to Travis Bourne. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida, weighing 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. And in classic HP Fresh fashion of disrespecting my opponents, I get Travis Brown's name wrong and call him Travis Bourne. Maybe that was intentional, maybe I just don't care, I don't know. But no disrespect to Travis Brown, but I have to do some shameless self-promotion here. Hit that subscribe button if you want to join the Money Shot Mafia and get on the HP Fresh bandwagon. Don't forget to leave me a like too, because a young bro gotta get his money up. And if you don't got that cash, you can't make it split. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight this is going to be. Oh my goodness, Roman Reigns with a mean two punch combo after that counter. Roman Reigns versus Travis Brown to decide who will be going to the number one contendership for the World Heavyweight Championship. What a fight this is looking to be. Roman Reigns' first true test came in his last fight, number 17, against Antonio Minotauro Noguera. And it looked like Roman was going to take a loss. Oh my goodness, it looks like he may take a loss right now if he's not careful against Brown. That uppercut is ridiculous. But as I was saying, Roman looked like he was going to take a loss. Roman, get up! Get up! Oh my goodness. He was in the same position against Minotauro Noguera, but not this early into the fight. If he doesn't be careful, if he doesn't pick his spots against Brown, because Brown is a very well-rounded striker, he is prepared, he has studied Roman, he knows what Roman is good at, what Roman is looking to do, and it looks like Roman's 17 fight win streak could be in jeopardy at the hands of Travis Brown. Speaking of his 17 fight win streak, if you're wondering why we skipped 16, uh, somebody in the back just lost the footage. I don't know what to, uh, the footage is just missing. Somebody, somebody's getting fired off that. But, um, Roman has been taken down to the ground, and Travis Brown is going for a submission. Roman does not like being in a position where he can be tapped out. This is not his expertise. The submission game is not where he wants to be. It's not where he needs to be. It's not where he's used to being. He's used to being right here, stand-up game, picking his spots with the counter punches. This is where he wants Travis, and frankly, Travis is a very quick striker. I think this is where Brown wants him. So it's just a matter of who is the better striker and who is the better all-around fighter. Because if they're both equally matched in a stand-up game, you have to take it somewhere else. Do you take it to the ground? Do you take it to the clinch? Or do you take it to the submission game? Who knows? That is why we are here to decide who is the best of the best and who is going into to the number one contender match for the UFC heavyweight title. Both of these men want to get in that number one contender match so badly and who they will face is a mystery. That is what I want to see. If Roman Reigns or Travis Brown makes it, whichever one does, who will be there to try to stop them from becoming the number one contender? And we will see in the coming minutes which one of these fighters is truly destined for greatness. And based off of those two knockdowns we saw very early into the first round, it is pretty obvious that Travis Brown is taking the first round. But will Roman Reigns be able to take the next two? Will he be able to capitalize? Will he be able to not even go to the third round and take Travis Brown to a knockout victory? In this fight, only time will tell if the Hound of Justice will unleash his fury on Travis Brown.
Roman Reigns is watching those head kicks and gets two nice flush hooks to the face. He's dodging Travis's head kicks. That's what he needs to do. Oh, he gets caught with a mean front kick in the face, though. Roman is dodging the side kicks, but that front kick caught him off guard. He looks a little rattled. Roman with a very nice body kick. Another very nice body kick, and he's going for a Superman punch off the cage, but he misses. However, those two body kicks that he hit on Travis has stuck with him oh no Roman is stunned Roman is hurt Roman needs to create some distance this is not looking good Roman cannot afford to go down to the ground Roman cannot afford to be knocked down after the first round that he just had he needs to take this fight he needs to do what he does and win the points via takedown he cannot get hit with combinations like that Roman is getting worked what is happening this crowd is stunned silent they've never seen anything like this before they have never seen Roman in such a compromising position even against Minotauro Noguera when he fought Minotauro there was a bit of stunned silence there however it is not it was not as dominating as we're seeing from Travis Brown right now and Roman is doing exactly what he needs to do take it to the ground get flush hammer fist to the face wear his opponent's head out Ooh. Oh, Roman dodges that front kick and hits Travis with a mean series of combos. Travis realizes that he needs to take this fight down to the ground. That was the smart thing for him to do to allow himself some time to recover. But Roman gets this game right back into a standing position. Travis is compromised. He's wounded. He's stunned. He's rattled. And he's saved by the bell. Oh my lord, Roman, guard your face, brother, please. We cannot afford to have Travis Brown wail on your face like this. Oh my goodness, the striking, the mixed striking by Travis Brown makes Roman realize that he needs to take this to the ground. That was a smart move by Roman. Roman, I believe, is the dominant ground wrestler here in this fight. This is what he needs to do. This is his bread and butter. This is where he can get the W without any question. This is where Travis is not comfortable. It looks like Travis is not comfortable. He goes back up immediately. Roman, he's in the clinch. Travis is in the clinch. Roman is in the clinch. Both of these fighters are very skilled in this position. It's just a matter of who can get the leg up and Roman gets the leg up and slams Travis down. He's get he's trying to get a better position. He's trying to get into a position. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Travis tries to go for a Kamora lock, but Roman gets out of it very quickly. Roman is posturing up. Roman is looking to take the W from this position, but Travis Brown reverses it. Travis is in the deadly full mount, but he gets up because he does not want to see Roman on the ground. Roman lands a powerful left hook and he's looking to take this fight home. He's looking, nice combos. Travis is down, Roman has mounted. Travis is out. Roman has won and Roman is 18 and oh. Well, that's disappointing. How the fuck you lose so badly the first time that they put you back in the number one contendership again? And I'ma whip your ass again. This is ridiculous.